Good morning guys, so today we're going to be doing just a quick plan with me for October. So this is what I do at the beginning of every single month. Right now I'm actually starting just with this week. Um, as you can see, I already mapped out my stickers and I'm just putting everything in together. And I just like to get a good layout. I mean, I'm not somebody that cares if it's absolutely perfect. I want to be able to look at my planner and enjoy what I'm looking at, but it doesn't have to be like perfection. So now I've skipped over to the month and I'm just kind of jotting down like an overview of a couple quick events or things that I know are coming up and I usually fill this in throughout the month. Now this is important, this is my goal tracker. Every month I have four new goals that I want to accomplish. So for this month, the first one is going to be to complete all novel prep during Preptober because I want to make sure that come NaNoWriMo, my novel is fully outlined, fleshed out, and I have no like little plot holes. This is my first time completing my novel and doing NaNoWriMo, so I want it to be easy peasy. I also want to lose 10 pounds <laughs> um, because Obviously, who doesn't want to lose 10 pounds, but I have a much larger weight loss goal and I want to start breaking it up into smaller attainable goals. And then the last one is to be more consistent with my filming and vlogging schedule because definitely look at my last video, you'll see I talked a lot more about the reasons why I haven't always been consistent and I really want to change that. Now I left the last one blank because that is more personal and I'll fill that in later. Now, after I do my goal tracker, I go over to a habit tracker, and again, I didn't completely fill this out, but I just got started based on the four, three goals that I wrote down already, but a few of those things are going to be, um, like it's very important that I utilize my morning, so that means that every single day, even on my days off, I want to get up at 5 a.m. And then there's just a few other things that I wrote down that I think will help me, and as I go through this habit tracker, if I do it, I will highlight it. Next, I move over to my week, and I just started, again, going through all the different things that I need to do that I know of that I have this week, and then this is a running list, and I will fill things in as they come, and then put them on the actual weekly layouts. So I started out mostly just going through the things I need to, again, for those goals already set. I also do daily planning, so I basically break down the month and the week, and then every day I fill this in with my top three priorities, a quote or affirmation, and a basically like a to-do list thing um, of what I need to do that day. I also have all the other sides there on the right that I can fill in for calls and emails and then just blank for whatever I want. Sometimes I'll put a quote or duration trackers, stuff like that. Okay, and then now I'm just grabbing some of the things that I have from September that I move over every single month. So I got my little flyer thing at the beginning with just positivity. This is a reading list of all the books I want to read. And now I'm going through and doing my bucket list, which is all the more family things that I want to do with my family. Um, I actually pulled it over from September because we didn't really accomplish everything that we wanted to do. And some of them were things I think we just might want to repeat and do again this month. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you subscribe below. And I